Okay, first we're gonna put our soil in that bin that I just drilled holes in. This is everything that I'm using. Some garden vegetable soil, some top soil, some perlite, black cow, and a different um, garden soil. And in, in the bottom of my bin, I have my compost of leaves that are dried out pretty much. We're gonna start off with adding our black cow, which is a cow manure 555. I would pick this bag up, but this bag is heavy and my back is hurting. I'm going to see how this looks. Now you can see it. Once I mix it all together, it's going to keep that smell down that you might think you're going to smell. It's okay if the leaves poke through. Now I'm going to put um, my garden soil in. Well. Now I'm going to use some perlite. A bit more garden soil. And I'm going to switch up the soil that I'm using. So I'm using one, two, three, four different brands. And it's four different types. Busted bags, you pay about $2 a bag. I don't know how much the bin was because this was my son's bin. He never had anything, no chemicals or anything in it. He uses it when he, because he has a really big fish tank. Which I need to check to see if he got any fish fertilizer. You know it'll come it'll be in uh chunks like this and you want to break that up and it does have a little look at that mixture in there in the top soil i would have my gloves on but i left them in the truck because we going fishing tomorrow and I might vlog a little bit of that I'll put some more perlite y'all you trying to figure out what I'm talking about and what that is it improves the drainage and aeration of the potting mix allows that air and all of that to get around in the middle of it. I hope I'm not blocking the camera. Ooh, I didn't want to open up my other bag, but y'all, I'm about to bust it open. Being is deeper than I thought. Ooh, this one's real dark. Real dark. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Look at that. I thought it was a worm, but it's actually like a little rock, a pebble. So you gotta check your soil. Make sure you don't have no bugs. In it. The potatoes can't grow in that. Something wrong. So let me let you see how dark this. Oh my gosh, this right here. This is so pretty. It's stank. Trust and believe me, it's stank. But it's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at God. Won't he do it? 
I hope y'all having a blessed day. We gonna mix all this. Was gonna cut some of this out, but y'all need to see it. Cause look, I be on the internet searching and trying to find something to help me do what I need to do. So we just gonna mix this all up. Sometimes you need, especially when you're new like me, you want to see stuff in detail. And you can tweak how you do whatever you're going to do. But you need to see stuff in detail sometimes. I feel like I need more perlite. Because that's a lot, a lot of mixture. And this bag is not expensive, it's perlite. I think that'll do me. Do me. I need to, um... Add a little more soil. Time for me to go look for some more busted bags. I was gonna put, uh, transfer some other stuff today. I still gotta transfer my squash and corn and watermelon, but I need to get me some more busted bags. And if I can't find the busted bags, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and. Pay the money. Pay the money. Mm, that right there look good. I'm gonna wet her down real good. Yeah, that's good. I don't need no more soil. I probably didn't need that much soil in there. But it is what it is. But I needed to have that space. Um, Cause what I had her in was not enough space. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, now it's time to give her a little bath, get her moist. You want her to be moist before you start putting it in. Get your mind out the gutter, get your mind out the gutter. Remember, I have those holes in there on the bottom and at the bottom on the side. So, I think that's good. We don't want them to be, the roots to be in shock when we put them in there. Now, I have never done this, y'all, so be patient with me. Betty Wright, um, I'm nervous. Leave me some comments no down below for the next time that I do this. It might be a simpler way to do it. I don't know. Um, I'll be right back. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm about to put a little more um, water on them and then I'm gonna call it a night. So these are the eggs I've been saving. I'm about to crack them up over my garden and provide nutrients for my soil. And I love the sound of cracking eggs. I also learned this method from Lead Farmer 73. So I will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to Tommy Bikes Carolina Homestead. I am doing, I am growing, I am loving it. It is so peaceful. Be blessed and remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spread God's love with distance, peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for joining Tommy Bites. Carolina Homestead.